Hey guys, welcome to 2 a.m. Pipe on the Patio. This is a VR for Iron Brigade Piper. First off, congratulations on all your subs. Um, your God question was, who was our hero? Or who is our hero? And this was a tough one for me to, to answer. But I would say that my hero would have to be my grandma Mannion. Um, she pretty much raised five kids on her own. She was married to an alcoholic, abusive husband back in the 20s and 30s. Uh, he passed away when he was in his 30s, leaving her with five kids to raise alone in the end of the Depression. And um, she raised five kids. My dad, uh, when World War II broke out, he wound up moving are leaving to join the Navy and talked her into moving from uh, the East Coast to the West Coast out to um, Richmond, California. Um, and she moved herself and the four kids that she had with her out to the West Coast and um, wound up buying a house, raising those kids, um, raising our family, and uh, raising a, a huge family filled with love. I mean, that family was filled with love and grandma's house was just I mean it was it was just a place where love lived and um, she loved unconditionally and it there was nothing you could do that would make her not love you and um And I know that she had to be one tough, tough old bird to do what she did, to make it through what she made it through in her life with those five kids and an abusive husband during the Depression and to get through that. And to be that tough. And then when we came along to be that gentle and kind and loving and caring and just soft. And um, But I know it, it, she had to be one tough old bird. You know, to get through what she got through. But she, uh, she taught me everything I will ever need to know about love. Um, everything that I would ever need to know about family. And, um, just how to love unconditionally and treat people and uh, she's my hero Isabel G. Mannion that's my hero she's uh, she lived to be 94 years old and uh, <laughs> 
just to give you an idea of how tough she was. She was having a heart attack one time in her house. And they called the paramedics. And this was back in this was back in like the sixties. They called the paramedics and the paramedics were gonna she was wearing a girdle and the paramedics were gonna cut the girdle off of her and she said, Oh hell no, you're not gonna cut this girdle off. I just bought this girdle <laughs> And she would not let him cut her girdle off. She took the went in and took the girdle off while well, she's having a heart attack. That's how tough she was. <laughs> um, but she was something else, man. She was just the kindest, lovingest, gentlest, laughingest. She would laugh until she cried. She would literally laugh until she cried, man. And um, there's nothing but good memories of her. She's my hero. So thank you. God bless. Congratulations.